In today's video, we're going to be discussing the Tecna TE550 Well Control. The TE550 is an AC microprocessor based resistance welding control that comes standard on the model 8207 resistance welding machine. This machine has an 80 kVA welding transformer. The machine also comes with three separate initiation methods accessible by three initiation plugs. From left to right they are start one initiate via foot pedal operation. Next is start two also foot pedal operated. The last plug is for an anti tie down palm button initiation. The standard features of the TE550 well control include but are not limited to the following. The control may store up to 250 weld programs. The model 8207 welder is also equipped with a selector switch for programs 1 through 9. Any one of the remaining 250 programs may be assigned via the setup menu and that program will be executed if the selector switch is in the zero position. The control has the capability to store up to 33 parameters per program. The control comes with a built-in counter. The welding current output may be monitored within pro programmable limits. Stepper profiles may also be programmed to compensate for tip wear. And the control may accommodate a number of optional devices that may be added to the machine for data monitoring, such as force and material thickness stack up. Now let's examine the control interface. The control faceplate is represented by a backlit display as well as command buttons for various functions. The first button, represented by two hash lines, is the control startup key. You will be prompted to press this key anytime the control is powered up from an off condition. The next key is used to select between foot pedal or palm button operation. The third key is for selecting the weld or no weld function. The final key down the left hand side is the fault reset key represented by three hash lines. Moving to the right, the up, down, left, and right arrow keys are used for maneuvering within the display. The plus minus keys are used for entering data on any of the programmable parameters within the weld schedule. The physical key switch is used for placing the control in the program or run mode. Program mode is represented by the four arrow symbol and run mode is represented by the electrode welding symbol. And there are also a number of indicator LED lights that represent the control inputs and outputs at various stages of the weld sequence. The first indicator light is for control power on. The second indicator light means that the weld sequence start device input, foot switch or palm button, is active. The third indicator light is for a second auxiliary foot pedal input device if in use. The fourth indicator light shows that a pressure sensing device is active. This is optional. The fifth indicator means that the control is passing welding current. The sixth indicator shows that the solenoid output for the weld cylinder is active. The seventh indicator light will come on if a backup or return pressure valve is in use. The eighth indicator is for an optional forge valve output. And the final indicator will illuminate when the retract valve output is active. Moving on now to the backlit display. Upon power up, you will be prompted to press the start key represented by two hash lines. Next, you will see the monitor display if in run mode or the main menu if in program mode. The monitor display will provide the following information. PROG represents the weld program being executed. SPOT shows the spot weld count. Weld time represents the weld time as programmed for the schedule currently running. Current RMS displays the monitored RMS output current for the program that is being used. Conduction degree displays the firing angle of the sine wave relative to the requested output current, 180 meaning max current. 
It is possible to have other information represented on the monitor display depending on which options were purchased with the well control. By pressing the right arrow key, other monitored information may be displayed, including the error log. It is possible on the monitor display that there is additional information. If so, use the plus minus key to move up or down through the display information. Now we will discuss the program mode. This mode is accessed by moving the key switch to the program mode. This will take you to a list of menu options. The top information indicates the control model and software version. On the left side of the display, there will be an arrow pointing to a specific menu option. Use the up-down keys to move the arrow to the desired menu option, then press the right arrow key to display the contents of that menu. Press the left arrow key to go back to the menu list. Let's begin with program data. This is where data for individual programs will be stored. All data is entered using the plus minus key. To scroll up or down through the list of possible parameters, use the up down arrow keys. The first item is the program number that data will be stored in. You may choose one of up to 250 programs. Next is the working mode. If fix is selected, the current is programmed as a percentage up to 99%. This is represented by the name power in the control display. If in IK mode, current is programmed in kiloamps, this is represented by the name current in the weld program. Furthermore, in this mode, the control will compensate automatically as necessary to ensure the current output is stable and consistent. The control mode allows for the monitoring of the output current within a set of limits. Other variables may be monitored if those optional devices were purchased. Using the up-down arrow keys, you may continue through the list of parameters. Enter data for the desired parameters you wish to be part of the program, such as squeeze, weld, current, hold, etc. The data entered for these programs will be stored to the processor upon returning the key switch to the run position. Next, we will discuss the setup menu. We will cover those functions relative to the basic machine setup. Start one program function is where the program is selected that will execute from the selector switch zero position. Start two program function is where the program is selected that will be executed upon initiation of the start to input device. Stop bad spots, this parameter allows for the number of spot welds out of tolerance as prescribed in the well control monitor min max values after which the control will fault. The value 0 to 15 may be selected. If 0 is selected, the function is disabled. In the language function, you may select the control language you wish to use. Pre-weld and post-weld parameters may be selected or disabled. If disabled, these functions will not populate as programmable functions in the program mode. There is an additional features menu which allows for more advanced control options. However, for the scope of this video, they are not discussed. It is recommended that a TJ Snow professional be contacted for guidance when accessing these menu options. If you have any questions about the TE550 control or any other well control that we could help you with, contact us here at TJ Snow Company.